Hello everyone, back with another unboxing. We unfortunately have the the lamp on today and uh, for tomorrow as well, just so we're aware. But these are the last two days of the Inus Guerrero unboxings. Um, yeah. Today we have Rococo Dream. I want to first give you a quick look at that and I'm going to give you some information about this piece uh, it's currently out of stock but it is $54.99 um, this was one of the first pieces I got from Diamond Art Club I believe um, pink isn't really my favorite color but just the different elements in this piece I really loved and I also when I went back to the website to look at this, uh, there's stuff in here that I didn't even I didn't even notice. Like I knew there was the crow, um, but I never realized like how spooky her little like dolls were. Um, yeah, I haven't looked at this in a while, so I forgot some of the cool things that are sort of uh, the blend in. They're not necessarily hidden; they just blend in well with everything. So this is a square, this is a 22 by 30 inch or 56 by 76 centimeters. This has 28 colors with one AB, 66,737 diamonds. I'm sorry, 28 colors with one AB, I think I said 26. I'm going to put this down because I need to be able to move my microphone. Um, one moment. Okay. Description reads, Truss up your corset and come ready to brave the haunted hill. Truss up your corset and come ready to brave the haunted halls of this ghostly madam mademoiselle. All done up in pearlescent pink ribbons and frilly bows, she surrounds herself with dark symbols of the night while her king of crows companion warns of mystery and deception ahead. So I went and I looked up uh, the Rococo art era. So really quickly before I... And I thought it was really interesting because I didn't know that was what the art style was called. Um, so Rococo era... Uh, started in England and was really big between 1740 and 1770. Um, it's really frilly, really fancy looking. Uh, it started in England, but it made some of French artists during that time really big. Um, Paul de la Marie was a big part of it. I have no idea who that is, uh, mostly because I'm not aware of, like, I don't know the artists of a lot of other pieces that I've seen. Like, I know what the pieces are, it's just not, you know, the names of the artists, unfortunately, get lost to time. Um, it basically... The Rococo style is just everything fancy. It was a way to make the sort of rich and higher ups look like they were had just like the most fancy of lifestyles. Um, if you know the picture of I know his name. It's not Leo, King Leo. Uh, why? I'm looking at a picture of him. He was one of the like kings of France, I believe. Uh, one second.
King Louis. That's who it is. Oh my goodness. I don't know why that was so hard. But he was uh, sort of in charge of France around that time. If that, if you're a European history person. Um, I only know King Louis. Uh, one, because of his marvelous, marvelous wigs. Uh, and because of the Jungle Book. Uh, I'll be real with you. Um, but I mostly think of King Louis as, like, the wigs and stuff. Um, yeah, I, uh, I, I guess a good way also to describe Rococo is, if you kind of think of, like, the Victorian filigree and things of that time. It was like that, but like a lot brighter colored. Hold on. My cat is... He needs attention. I'm gonna show you some... I'm gonna bring my laptop over so we can see some... examples. And I'm aware that you're most likely... Yeah, you're not exactly in the center but this is just to give you some quick see this is king louis this is a very famous painting of him but if you see what i mean lots of filigree lots of sort of you know this is what the rich are doing they have this fabulous lifestyle all of these these things very whimsical um but, yeah. So, that was our art history of the lesson. Or, art history lesson of the day, I was trying to say. Um, back to this, because I know this is what you came for, and I'm sure tons of you have just skipped over our little art history lesson, but it's okay. So, on the side of our box, we have a discount code. On the back, we have our contents, and a quick little rundown on how to diamond paint. So this one has the old toolkit because, like I said, this was one of the first diamond paintings I bought from Diamond Art Club. Uh, nothing too fancy about it. Uh, just standard toolkit things. We have our sticker. We have the kimchi. Thank you, bud, for laying directly in my way. Appreciate you. So all of the diamond paintings come in a dust bag with Diamond Art Club and their slogan, Do What Makes You Sparkle. Now, I'm wondering if this is gonna have a white AB because that is our common theme of the month, uh, is white ABs. Almost everything I've opened has had uh, white ABs. So I'm going to guess and say that was our, that's our AB for this piece. I'm going to do this. that. Where's our sticker? Oh. Sticker sheet is stuck in there. I'm going to have to cheat and look at this uh, briefly. But rolling it back up in a not so pretty fashion, but it's okay. Um, this is the old pamphlet from Diamond Art Club. Um, a lot of the information is the same uh, with the new one. We have our drills. They are labeled um, in case you store your drill separate from your canvas. Uh, lots of gray, some pink. Oh. 
I see our AB, and I do think it is white. Oh, no, it's a pink. I don't know what color this is, but it's, it's pink. Which I'm actually kind of happy about. I was getting a little bit tired of the, the white ABs. Okay, so here's our sticker sheet again. These are individually cut. We have our title, our artist, our size, all of that fun stuff. So our AB is 127. Like I said, it's a pink. There is some 310 in here. I'm wondering how much 310 there is. Uh, but yeah, 20. this is 29 colors. I don't know if I just realized this because when I've been reading it, unless this was like, because this is an older, older uh, kit, if it's just phrased differently than the newer ones, because I feel like with the other ones I've been unboxing, I'll say, you know, insert number of colors with the AB, but the AB is included in that number. Whereas this one, the site said 28 colors with one AB, and this was 29. This could just be something I didn't realize before, um, but yeah, there's our lady. And then we're gonna look at our canvas. I'm gonna roll this backwards um, for the sake of filming. Diamond Art Club things flatten really quickly. I'm just rolling this uh, so it can be nice and flat while we look at it. Um, but yeah. Come on. Also, I would like to give a pre little preview. We have 13 kits to open after this one. Um, so yeah, one of them, the last one I, the last group of kits I ordered arrives tomorrow. So I'm very excited. All right, so. Here is our lady on top of a Mr. Kimchi. There he goes. Now, I know you absolutely cannot see this side of the canvas. I will flip this around in a moment. Um, but we have her two dolls, which I didn't realize she had until going back to the website today. Up here we have her carousel hat. Um, so it looks like the 310 is outlining uh, most of our stuff, but more so, um, how do I say this? Like more so connecting to the background, if that makes sense. So like here, there's going to be 310, this area. And like on the outside of her face, which I know you can't really see. Um, and then like the dolls are in black, outlined in black. Um, and then just the very outside of these stripes is the 310. And a little bit down here, just for, um, what's the word? I can't think of the word. But I'm going to flip this around this way so that we can see our nice little girlfriend. There we go. Now, I know this isn't the best lighting. Ooh, it's a little bit better. I mean, it's blown out, but you can see what's going on better. Um, so I want to see where our AB is. Again, it's 127, which is a, a light pink. Um, it looks like it is... This is plastic. In this ribbon here. Here in the flower. Well, this side of the flower. 
um, a little bit here. some down here in the like ruffles oh, I just realized she's holding a key this is like a hidden picture thing for me um, here here I'm actually gonna Flip it this way. Should have done this the first time, but oh well. We live and we learn, right? Okay. Um, again, in this flower, in this ribbon going down. Again, the ribbon here. Here. Down here. So it's nice and sprinkled about. I do, so because this light is yellow, it's going to cancel out some of the the colors in this which is unfortunate uh, I'm not really sure like unless I make it really dark I'm not really sure how to give you the best visual of this because it is a lot of gray and like a decent amount of brown um, and it's not like very dark gray um, there's a lot of lighter tones in this, so that yellow is really just doing its thing. Um, but I do feel like there's a decent amount of color blocking versus uh, confetti. I'm moving this down so we can see up here. Um, just a little like fluffs of hair. Um, but yeah, um, I really enjoy this so far. Uh, I think this is the piece with the most pink in it that I own. I don't think I have very many pieces with pink in them. So we're going to look at our drills now. There's all of our 310. Ooh, I really want peanut butter. Okay, so that's like a really random thing to say. But, um, I went to the gym today for the first time in months. Like, th almost three months. And it's already hitting me that, like, I need a snack. But, um, I'm gonna look at our drills. And then I'm gonna go get myself a snack. Uh, 3024. I'm gonna dim this a little bit. Three zero two four. Four bags of four one five. Two bags of four one four. Nine six three. Four bags of three one eight. Sometimes I feel like I struggle with these more than I should. Two bags of seven six two. Two bags of three seventeen. One twenty-seven, which is our A B. 
uh, if you're able to see, they're a bit shinier. They have this sort of opalesque, pearlesque, um, what do you call it? Coating on them, so they're extra shiny, and they make the pieces around them even shinier. Two bags of three, seven, nine, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven bags of 310. 310 is black. Um, if you're unaware, some people don't like pieces with a lot of 310 in them. I'm perfectly fine with it. Uh, I, a lot of my pieces are darker imagery. Um, yeah, I think the most bags I've gotten so far in one kit is 14 bags. Um, it was either 14 or 17, which sounds like a big difference in bags, but I don't know. So Diamond Art Club gives you extra drills in case anything happens. So we're not, we're not really going to use all of this. So if this is something that concerns you, don't be. Um, usually when I kit up things with this many bags of something, I'll leave out two for like on the side. Um, sometimes I go into them. Sometimes I don't, um, but yeah, we won't really be using all seven bags of this, just if this is something that scares you. <laughs> uh, four bags of three, three, seven, one. See, this looks more bright than this. There we go. It's brown. Six so far. Goodness. Here we go. Six oh five. This is like a classic bubblegum, bright bubblegum color. It looks a bit faded uh, because again the yellow toned, yellow hued light. And then another bag of four one four. Which I feel like yes. So we have one two. Three bags of 414. And then we have our last string of drills. 434. 433. Now this looks a bit green um, in the camera. This is a sort of beige tone. That is, that's the color. 898. So the reason if you're wondering why some colors look off versus others, um, it's dependent on the amount of things that go with yellow in that tone. Goodness. I don't know if you can hear my cat, but he's had to announce that he's done some stuff. So, eight nine eight five five zero. I'm wondering where this is going. I have no idea where this purple is going to go. I know it's not a lot of purple, but once we look at this, I'm definitely going to look and see where this purple goes, because in my eyes, there's no purple in this, but. I could be wrong. Oh, you know what? I think I see it. Just kidding. No, I don't. Um, that is a completely different color. Okay. 3033. Three. 154. So this purple is around her eyes. Where's this? Well, not sure. We'll look after. 3860. 939, which is a very, very dark blue. 604, which is a bit closer to how this looks. 648. Again, looks green, is not green. 3861. 779. 413. This is like a blue, blue gray. That's why it looks green, is because there's blue values in this. Um, but it's like a bluish 
gray. 938, two bags. 413, which is one of my favorite colors. This is a blue gray, um, almost like a wet cement color. Slightly darker than like a wet cement. That is this. And then this is 3865, which is white. Okay, so I want to see where 550 is because I was not expecting such a bright purple. So I'm going to package these up really quickly or at least as quick as I can because I'm being invaded by my cats. go. Also, a tip for you, if you um, like to unbox your, your kits and then put them away and you need to roll your drills back up, always start with one less um, in that first sort of row than there were when you got it so like for example this had four or five so i'm gonna start with we'll say it had five so i'm gonna start with four and then as they build up over each other i will have five on the outside i hope that makes sense it makes sense in my brain um, This was not the prettiest uh, but they all fit back in and that's what matters. So I'm looking for this little upside down biohazard sign. you see it, let me know. I want to know where this goes. Chitaro and also wants to know where this goes. He has a toy, that's what's up. Okay. I'm like, what is happening up there? Um I see some here. One on her mouth. Okay, so it is a little bit in her eye and in her mouth. Along with the uh, one oh what? I Oh, that's wrong. 154. That's what it was. Um, I realized I did not give you a, a tour of the canvas uh, as Kimchi helps us uh, exit out this video. At the top, we have Diamond Art Club, Do What Makes You Sparkle. We have a legend right here. On the other, on the bottom portion, lower half, we have, thanks for the help, bud another 
budget. Down here is our thumbnail, title, artist, size, um, here we have the the social media, sorry, I am tired. We have the social media, another discount code, then we have our lifetime warranty. Anything happens to your canvas or drills, you tell Diamond Art Club at any time and they will do what they can to get things right for you. So that is all I have for today. Again, tomorrow is the last Ines Guerrero unboxing. Um, yeah. I'm excited to see how this turns out. Lots of grays, which I'm totally down with. Um, lots of pink. I think this is a very interesting one for my collection because it fits my aesthetic but with colors I don't normally associate with I guess but that is all uh, remember to drink your water go outside go for a walk I went for a very long walk today um, get some food in your system do whatever you need to do to take care of yourself today do some self-care we live in very hard times so it's important to take care of yourself. Do one little thing for yourself today. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.